26th of May 2015 annual meeting of South Tyneside's Borough Council. During this meeting, the Council will make a number of appointments for the 2015-16 municipal year, including the appointment of the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor, the appointment of the Leader, Deputy Leader and Cabinet, the appointment of the Chairman, Vice Chairman and members of the Council's committees, and the appointment of representatives to serve on outside bodies. In addition, the Council will review any proposed changes to the Council's constitution and will agree the programme of Council and Committee meetings. As always, the Council is chaired by the Mayor of South Tyneside and I'm now joined by the outgoing Mayor of South Tyneside, Councillor Faye Cunningham, who will be chairing Council for the last time in the role. Councillor Cunningham, what has it meant to have been first citizen of the borough? It has been absolutely wonderful, Holly. It is such um, an achievement for any councillor to be chosen by their peers to represent South Tyneside as me. Mm. Um, when you think about it, the only person who is, um, takes precedence over the Mayor of South Tyneside is Her Majesty the Queen or her representative. Mm -hmm. So it really is a very, very big honour when, when your fellow councillors choose you and think you are capable of, of undertaking that role. Great. So when you were first appointed, what did you set out to achieve and have, have you achieved it? We didn't, uh, the Mayor Estelle and I didn't really have any hard and fast rules. We wanted to invite as many people as we could into the town hall, um, particularly young people. Um, we did have our charity and we had um, a goal of 20,000. And, um, and, and that has been great fun, doing our fundraising. Bit of hard work, but, but, but fun. Yeah. And we have had a lot of people in the town hall. And between the four of us, the team of the Deputy Mayor and Mayoress, Stella, the Mayoress and myself, we have undertaken 900 engagements. Wow. <laughs> wow, so a very busy a year. A very, very busy <laughs> year, yes. So I know you mentioned the fundraising. Uh, which charities were you fundraising for? The three main charities were Cancer Connections, um, St Clair's Hospice and the Mission to Seafarers but there were others, um, uh, the three sea cadet units, Arts for Wellbeing who work with mentally handicapped people and Kayaks who work with children with autism and support their families. Wow, three causes. So we are very very pleased we've raised over £30,000. Wow, it's amazing. And every single penny of that will be spent in South Tyneside. Wow. So what have been the, the key highlights of your mayoral year, would you say? The highlights have been quite ordinary. Um, it, they have been just going out and about and receiving people into the town hall. We've really enjoyed meeting the mayors and mayoresses from other authorities mm -hmm. and we've done, you know, you learn a lot from one another and it really has been, been and that part of it has been the fun part. Um, but we have um, enjoyed going to our twin town. We went to the Queen's Garden Party in the House of Commons. So we've done some really, really exciting things. Great. Are there any messages you'd like to leave with the people of South Tyneside? The thing I would like to say is thank you, and that is particularly to all the volunteers. What we've learned as we have um, gone to all of the engagements is that if all of the volunteers in South Tyneside stopped working, this town would grind to a halt. Mm -hmm. We are so fortunate to have wonderful people who are happy to give their time free and to help other people. And it really, really makes South Tyneside a fabulous place to live. Um, and do you have any advice for the incoming mayor? My advice to, to, to Richie and Pat is to just enjoy every minute of it. It goes past so quickly. Um, and just to, to do the things that they enjoy doing and to, to rely on the fantastic officers that we have in, in, our, in our council. Our civic team are set to none um, and they have helped us achieve the 900 engagements. We couldn't have done it without them. Thank you very much, Councillor Cunningham. Thank you. Thank you. Please 
Please be seated, colleagues. Good evening, colleagues. Welcome to the meeting of the council. I am required to inform you that this meeting is being recorded. If any member of the public does not wish to be filmed, please make sure you are sitting behind one of the two camera positions located at the front of the public gallery. I must also ask members to ensure that your mobile phones are either switched off completely or switched to airplane mode, as having them left on silent will interfere with the supplementary microphones we are now using in the chamber to improve sound quality. May I also remind members of the importance of speaking directly into your microphones. Thank you, colleagues. I would like to thank the former councillors Dennis, Elson, Parkus, Pemmer, McAtominy, Murphy, Piggott, Spraggan, for their contributions to the work of the council during their time as members and to wish them the very best for the future. Can I also take this opportunity to welcome to the Council, Councillors Amar, Duncan, Ellison, Flynn, Hetherington, Huntley, Maxwell and Trey. The first business is to elect the Mayor for the new municipal year. Can I now call for nominations for Mayor? Francis Sewer. I'll make I nominate uh, Bridget Porters. Uh, I'll make a trip to the Mr. Dennis. It's a great honor to have to nominate Bridget tonight. Bridget has been married to Patricia for some 44 years, from this October. They have two daughters, Diane and Dion, four grandchildren. One of the eight grass children. Richie started his apprenticeship at 15 at the Welder, working at York, Gay Market. Well, his first year was probably his third year. You know? He learned how to put the pets on and put all of the things in the full lunch tent. Pat has worked for him there for some 26 years, and then three years in the National Service. When Richie and Pat were married in 1971, they were driving from the Gazette, Werner and Mike Connor. By the way, Pat was the Werner. She can do the overhead pumps, double buttons, she can keep the quick clothes arc, she can score it with a 6 g arc. Anybody who works in the industry will understand that I'm Richie spent a long time working abroad in different places, including Holland, France, and Northern Ireland. He is currently a production manager with the AAP Limited. Richie and Pat have been long supports for the Air Ambulance Service. We will always find them at Heaven's Effort raising funds for the Air Ambulance. We also great supporters of the Chinese CKFs in Adam. Mm -hmm. Richie and Pat both have a highway, which is in a caravan, which is in Sam. Mm -hmm. We came with Richie and Pat to both big southern supporters. When that friend was down in all that come over from America, the match is on us. Richie was very close to his brother Joe, who recently passed away. I believe Joe was right when he was in here tonight. Joe used to say to me when he said he got married, um, Richie and Pat moved off the park bench and had his soft setting. 
Thank you, Councillor Sewell. Is that seconded? Thank you. It's my privilege to second the motion to support Councillor Richie Porthouse to be elected Mayor of South Tyneside. I've known Richie Porthouse for some time. <coughs> it's already mentioned, but he is a devoted father, great grandfather, grandfather, husband, and him and his wife make a very formidable team. And I'm sure he will make a wonderful team as Mayor and Mayoress. He has many talents, does Richie. He's quite a good singer, and he has a knowledge of several languages, including Dutch, German, and Polish. And he is a supporter of some of the FC, which shows he must have very strong nerves. <laughs> <laughs> He's been chairman of the Evan Community Area Forum for three years, four years now. He's got good contacts with his constituents, and is a good listener and gets things done. Also, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. He lets know the people if they're being silly, well that's, you know, which I think is a good thing. He's a good friend and ally to the Heaven Secret Ed Co. I think there's some representatives here tonight. And uh, just think if everything goes wrong and we still get him in a boat and get him out through the piers before we'll catch him. <laughs> but he's always been fair and firm. He's allowed fellow councillors and members of the public to take full part of debates and on all issues. And I'm sure all these talents, which are many, will stand him in a good stead when he's chairing South Tyneside Council. <coughs> he's been an excellent deputy mayor, and has his wife Pat been an excellent deputy mayoress. But I'm sure with all these attributes he's got, that during his mayorality, he'll be an excellent ambassador for South Tyneside. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Kerr. Are there any other nominations? Is the motion agreed? Agreed. Councillor Courthouse has been duly elected as Mayor. Can I ask Councillor Courthouse to come forward and make the declaration of acceptance of office? I, Richard Edmund Porthouse, having been elected to the office of Mayor of South Tyneside Council, declare that I take that office upon myself and I will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. It's an absolute honour and privilege 
to have been nominated to stand as Mayor of South Tyneside. I sincerely thank my colleagues for bestowing upon me the morality. It's such an honour. Firstly, I promise to carry out the role of Mayor to the highest standard set out by me, my predecessors, especially Councillor Faith Cunningham. As our Madam and Deck, self proclaimed and Deck said at the uh, Mayor's Hall, Councillor um, Stuart Porthouse, no relation, <laughs> uh, and Councillor John Robinson, Mayor of Durham, <laughs> pointed out at the Civic Hall, Faye was praised by John Grundy as the best Mayor in the North East. I'll follow that, <laughs> uh, which I will do my best to achieve. <laughs> Over the last year, we've had a good apprenticeship with Faye and Stella. They've given us lots of opportunities to learn the ropes and witness for ourselves the wonderful work that is carried out by the numerous schools, charities, churches, and all of the volunteers whose work goes unnoticed and who never seek reward or recognition. Patricia and I have worked hard to maintain the standards of South Tyneside, as we are the envy of other councillors and mayors, which have stayed at each time we hold a function in our splendid town hall. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Councillor? Would to move a vote of thanks to Councillor Cunningham. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Colleagues, I'm pleased to give this vote of thanks to our Mayor, Councillor Faye Cunningham, and the Mayoress Sarah. Well, first of all, I would like to give my good wishes to the new Mayor, Cunningham Mayor, and Mayoress of Wild Park, Richie. Faye and I worked for many years together, and she was the Mayor's Secretary, and I was the Mayor's chauffeur. Last year, when I proposed Mayor to take the position, I could not think of anyone more fitting to do that. I have been proved right. Faye and Stella have done more than over 700 engagements. They have been great ambassadors to the borough, but throughout time we also, and our twin town in France. They have hosted important visitors from Kuwait, Taiwan, Australia, and New Zealand, and have been great ambassadors to our borough. During their year of office, the Mayor's Charity have raised over a fantastic £30,000 plus, and every penny which will go to charities and organisations in South Tyneside. So well done, it was no easy task in today's great to the world that we live in. It is a great achievement. Faye and Stella, you know you have worked very hard, but you have thoroughly enjoyed your year, and I think those who have worked alongside you have enjoyed it as well. And on behalf of the council, can I say a big thank you to you both for, for being good men and men rest to South Tyneside. <coughs> And I now call on Councillor Cunningham to respond to the vote of thanks. Thank you, Mr. May. And it gives me absolute pleasure to say that to you, Richie. It really does. Um, th well, first of all, can I thank you, colleagues, for, for having um, asked Stella and I to be Mayor and Mayoress. We have thoroughly enjoyed our year. Uh, we've really had a fantastic year. I had a, a lovely start as being Deputy Mayor for Councillor Gibson and, and Tricia, and, and that was, th and thank you both. You really did make that Deputy Mayor's year very, very pleasurable. Thank you, and I can see Tricia there. As John has said, we were very much a team with our Deputy Mayor and Mayoress this year, and between us, we've carried out 900 engagements, and to my knowledge, we have not refused one request for a mayoral visit, and that takes some doing. And I would like to thank you both for, for all of your support and, and to help us to have, to have achieved that. It really, it, it really you know, makes an impression on the people of South Tyneside when they can rely on their mayor or their deputy mayor or their deputy mayoresses and mayoress to be at, at their event, and it is so important. But we have, we have been very much a team this year. 
and we could not have achieved what we have without the wonderful support of our democratic services officers. They've all been absolutely magnificent, and particularly our mayoral team. Our two chauffeurs, Jimmy and Carl, Julie, our secretary, and Karen, they've been absolutely exceptional. In a team of eight, we have, we have achieved what we have, and we are so proud of, of this year. We've set a goal, Stella and I, at the beginning of the year, of 20,000 for our Mayor's charity, and we would have been absolutely delighted with that. Karen wouldn't tell us until the very last minute. She only told us at the end of last week how much we'd actually raised, and, and we were absolutely thrilled to find that we had raised £30,700, and every penny, as John has said, will be spent within South Tyneside to help our voluntary organisations and our charities. So thank you, everybody who's bought raffle tickets and tickets. I know you must all be sick to the back teeth of us. Um, but it's going to start again <laughs> for Council Port House. Everybody asks, um, what was your favourite engagement? And Stella and I have talked about this, and we think that it was the Durham Miners Gala. Because Bob Ollie, our local artist, had worked with the Miners Heritage Group and the children from St Bede's and St Hilda's Church, and they designed a banner to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the disaster when 200 men and boys at St Hilda's were killed. And it is um, tradition that every new banner is blessed in Durham Cathedral. So we had the honour of marching from the, the, the Town Hall Square in Durham with the West O'Colry Band our children who designed it, Bob Ollie, our MP, and we marched with the miners, the heritage group, to the cathedral. The cathedral was packed to the gunnels, and we marched in with our band. And that, to us, was, was absolutely exceptional, and it did, it, the hairs on the back of your neck stood up. So that, that, that was really the one that, that we remembered most. Our very first engagement was a reception for the volunteers in South Tyneside. And as we have gone about our duties, we have realised that without the volunteers, this beautiful community of ours would grind to a halt. They are helping in every aspect of our lives. And it was great that our first, first engagement was a, a thank you to them. Our last engagement is very, very meaningful to me as a Bede Ward councillor because we went to Durham Cathedral with the congregation from St Paul's at Jarrow for a special service to remember the life of Bede and his teachings. And it was a sung Eucharist with the Durham Cathedral Choir and for us that was absolutely special. That was our last engagement and for a Bede Ward councillor where better could I be than, to, than, than, than thanking St Bede? So that was absolutely lovely. Can I thank especially Stella, my mayoress? Um, she's been three steps behind me all the way. That was our joke, three steps behind me. And also Margaret Peacock. Margaret, you've been a rock. You've kept the ward going while I've been doing all the, 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 the lovely events that we've done and thank you so much I really do appreciate it Richie and Pat can we wish you well I'm sure you are going to be an absolutely fantastic mayor and mayoress and, and, and thank you for your friendship and for all your support and thank you Councillor Gibson and Tricia for the wonderful year we've had <coughs> when I was your deputy and thank you colleagues
I am confident that he will be of great support to the Mayor in carrying out the many duties throughout his term of office. Alan will be a worthy deputy mayor. Is that seconded? Thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mayor. I would like to second the nomination. I am sure that Councillor Alan Smith, with his wife, Councillor Moira Smith, will make a very successful deputy mayor and mayoress. They will make a very hard working and conscientious team and will diligently carry out their duties and will be a great support to the mayor and mayoress. Are there any other nominations? Motion agreed? Great. Councillor Alan Smith has been elected as Deputy Mayor. Can I ask uh, Councillor Alan Smith to step forward and make the declaration of acceptance of office? Smith, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor of South Tyneside Council, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Constitution is reviewed at least annually and is updated to take account of legislative and policy changes. As members will be aware, the Council has undergone a number of changes to its staffing structure in the last year. It is therefore necessary for Council to agree an updated list of officers authorised to exercise delegated powers. The proposed list of officers is set out in the appendix to the report. I would stress that the powers delegated to the officers have not changed. This is the only major amendment proposed for the Constitution at this time, and I know the recommendations are settled and reported. Thank you, Mr. Is that seconded? Seconded. Are there any questions, or does any member wish to speak to the report or move an amendment? Is the motion agreed? Agreed. 
The next business is the appointment of the Leader of the Council. Councillor McCabe. I'll move that uh, Councillor Ian Malton is uh, appointed as Leader of the Council. I'm second that. Is that second? Is second. Are there any other, any other nominations? Is that agreed? Agreed. Before I move to the appointment of the committees, the Leader wishes to advise the members of the appointments he has made in relation to the deputy leadership of the Council and the Cabinet. Thank you, Mr Mayor, and congratulations on your appointment this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mr Mayor, we, we neglected to mention this afternoon that Councillor Milburn is still um, quite poorly in, in hospital, and we send him our best wishes. I understand he has taken on the, the role of leader of the opposition, so we wish him um, all the best, all the luck in the world with that job, um, given the election results um, just a couple of weeks ago. But our thoughts and prayers are with uh, Jeff and his family. Mr Mayor, as, pa as, as per the Constitution, I wish to advise Council that I have appointed Alan Kerr to be Deputy Leader of the Council for the ensuing Municipal Year. And I have appointed the following councils to serve with me in the uh, Cabinet in the following portfolios. Resources and Innovation, Councillor Ed Martin. Regeneration and Economy, Councillor John Angle. Housing and Transport, Councillor Alan West. Area Management and Community Safety, Councillor Tracy Dixon. Children, Young People and Families, Councillor John Atkinson. Adult Social Care and Support Services, <coughs> Councillor Mary Butler. <coughs> Health and Wellbeing, Councillor Moira Smith. Mr May, uh, members will observe that there has been no changes in the Cabinet uh, this year. Uh, I wanted to ensure some continuity of service, particularly given the, the result of the recent general election and the, Conservative, the new Conservative Government's determination to reduce the deficit in as quick a time as possible, which will lead to £12 billion worth of public sector cuts in the next three to four years, with an expected further £12 billion worth of cuts which haven't been identified in the Conservative Party manifesto. Accordingly, I was of the opinion that it was important to maintain some stability in the Cabinet with members who are far fully aware of the challenges which we face in the coming year preparing the budget. Um, I formally move those um, appointments, Mr Mayor. The next business is to appoint the membership to committees as this is in the board paper. Councillor Mellon. Thank you, Mr. Uh, subject to any changes that the leaders may now wish to indicate, the membership of committees for 2015-16 as indicated in the printed list circulated to members this afternoon. It consists of the nominations put forward by each group leader and which meets political balance requirements. Is that seconded? Mm -hmm. Are there any changes which the group leaders wish to indicate? Is that agreed? Agreed. Agreed. The next business is to know the leader of the opposition which comes out from the majority of the leader too. So we move on. <coughs> the next business is the appointment of chair and vice chairman of the committees as listed in the green papers. Councillor Mellon. The chairman and vice chairman of the committees for 2015 16 is indicated in the printed list circulated to members this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Is that seconded? Are there any alternative nominations? Are those appointments agreed? Agreed. The next business is to appoint representatives to serve on outside bodies for 2015-2016. As said on the yellow pages, Councillor Mellon. The appointment of representatives is indicated on the list circulated to members this afternoon, the filling of any remaining vacancies on these outside bodies, together with any in year changes that become necessary. Be delegated to the Chief Executive in consultation with the Leader of the Council, except in the case of school governing bodies, which will be delegated to the Corporate Director, Children, Adults and Families in consultation with the Leader of the Council. Is that seconded? Seconded. Are there any alternative nominations? Are those appointments agreed? Agreed. 
The next business is to agree the program of ordinary meetings. Councillor Melling. The meetings of the council and the committees as indicated on the program of ordinary meetings circulated to members this afternoon is approved. Councillor Melling. Thank you. Councillor Melling. Thank you. 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 Thank you.